Welcome to Witten. We're, we're today looking at a, a tree plantation site where we have the opportunity to pull some woody weeds and we've been able to borrow some special equipment called tree poppers and they come in three different sizes and that's what we're hoping to demonstrate today, just what types of sh uh, tree or shrub are suited to each one. This property They've been planting trees regularly on what used to be pasture over the last 10 years. And as soon as you stop the old pasture treatment of slashing and grazing, um, as well as the trees you plant, all sorts of other things come growing up. And that gives you some choices. Um, some you want to keep because they'll suit your future forest or, uh, or food. Some you want to get rid of you might be able to graze or slash, you might be able to spray them, um, you could burn them, you can pull them up by hand, but some, these are just another tool that we're going to have a play with today and show you what sorts of uses uh, you can get from them. Here we've got a, a brush box, uh, be about 10 years old, doing very well. Um, great place for the birds to uh, sit up there and we've got a lot of uh, things that they've brought in with them. Some of them uh, the owners uh, are happy to keep, others we, we want to remove for them. First couple that they want to keep, uh, we've got some rainforest uh, trees, some little babies of them coming up around there and they'll be part of the long-term uh, succession for this site. We've got Brainia, which is an understory plant, looks a lot like privet but it's got larger oval leaves. We've got a hake here that's a garden escape, so they're happy to take that. Um, there's, yep, that's uh, a young water vine that we're going to hang, hang on to. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some uh, silky oak over there that's not local, but they're happy to have that come up as part of the, the timber plantation as well. So we'll leave that one. We'll leave that one. Okay. Uh, as we go around, we'll also see plenty of uh, tobacco bush and uh, lantana that uh, the birds bring in as well. So a lot of the time you can just pull them out by hand. We've had lots of rain this time of year, midwinter. It's great to just be out and do a little bit of hand weeding even. So there's one that's easy to come out by hand, very small, so it's not going to hurt your back. There's no point in hurting your back when you've got a bit of equipment to use come over to some of these larger ones here. Let's, I'm just going to hurt myself if I try and pull that out. But I've got a small weed popper with me. I can just let that come open, slide it around the base of the privet, ease back. One thing with privet, they have a lot and lots of side roots surface they're very surface rooted and look how much of the ground look how much of the area that plant was robbing from uh, water and nutrients so they really have a big impact in the bush and it's important to hang them up somewhere keep those roots off the ground so they don't reshoot too we were we're aware we'll need to use one at least the medium sized tree popper so that's this one so when when this is held vertically, it opens the jaw and then you put it in and then as you go pull back, it clamps together, come back downhill. <laughs> so then we take the, put the vertical, take it off, put it down, it's a very heavy tool. Then we need to shake off the soil. Ideally get out as many of those roots as we can. You know they're going a long way. Lucky there's not anything growing too close. And here we go. <laughs> Just next to the privet, uh, we've also got a, a wild uh, peach tree that's come up here. Um, it's nowhere that the owners can look after it, so uh, we want to take that out of the bush as well because it's only going to be a um, host for uh, all the 
pests and diseases on their main orchard up the top. Uh, it's got a different root system, it's a larger trunk, so this one we're going to try the, uh, the large tree proper on. Same thing, vertical, slide it round the trunk, ease it back, help it grip, just a gentle weight, whatever you're comfortable with, to bring the tree up. And if you need to, just come around the other side. Bring it back the other way to break any remaining roots. Much heavier to use that tool, but uh, you can see we had a few more tap roots on that one than we would have had on the privet. Okay. One of the big issues in your, uh, your bush care is going to be looking after uh, trees you want to keep, like this brainier shrub, when you've got something you don't want, like this privet. Very similar, but um, also risky, you know, if you try and herbicide there, it'd be easy to wipe out what you want to keep. But uh, with the tree popper, make sure you get onto the right stem that you want to get rid of. So the tree popper did all the hard work for me. I just had to follow through the remaining roots. Excuse me, Robin. Okay. Tidy up. And that's the result. We want to, we've kept that. We've managed to get the the privet out without causing any damage or disruption to the brain. Yeah. Okay, uh, fence line maintenance. Uh, we've got a young broadleaf white mahogany coming up here. Uh, we want to clear him out. This time we'll try the medium sized tree popper. Goes over without any trouble. Quite easy and just get him away from the fence and that keeps your fence lines open. This, this part of the plantation we've got a nicely pruned um, tower wood. Uh, usually they're pretty good at suppressing uh, weeds underneath them but some of them still uh, get through. So here we've got some more of those hakeas that have got out of the garden and we don't want them spreading. They're one of these ones that's got a pretty hard root. So I'm going to the tree popper rather than using my back. Here we've got the good old tobacco bush. That's also a very hard one to get out usually. So the tree popper just gives you that extra little bit of leverage and you can get the deep tap roots. Same thing, bigger the tree, you go for the bigger size tree popper.